viewers this is ranji raj in my previous video i taught you about the chi square test algorithm now in this we'll be talking about the problem of chi square test so uh, this are the 100 numbers as you can see here you can count it later but uh, for time being these are the 100 numbers now in the question they have said that you have to calculate this problem using the chi square test with the level of significance alpha as 0.05 so let's get started so first uh, you can see here there are 100 numbers so first we have to define the hypothesis this hypothesis remains the same as the ks test or you can refer to my previous video based on the algorithm now second step is to choose this small n such that this ei that is the expected frequency should be greater than or equal to 5 now how to solve this now how to estimate this value of small n now this ei is given as capital n upon small n now in place of ei you substitute capital n upon small n greater than equal to 5 now you can have the value of n from here that is 100 so this implies that 100 upon n is greater than or equal to 5 bring this 5 down here so n will be less than or equal to 20 we get n as 20 that is n is less than or equal to 20 now third step is to compute the test statistics now in this we have to make four columns now first column stands for the interval that is as you can see that is there is from uh, 0 to 1 1 is the maximum value and 0 is the minimum value so we take from 0 to point 1 point 1 to point 2 point 2 to point 3 likewise till 1.0 so from this you have to count which numbers lies in this range that is from 0 to point 1 which numbers lies in this range so accordingly we will number it as 1 this as 2 this as 3 this as 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 now after you do this now you have to calculate the oi that is the observed frequency now observed frequency you can calculate how much frequency of each numbers are there so i have already done it i will just write here so for understanding purpose i will make it right here but when you actually solve it you will have to compute it and solve so for first it is 8 second it is 9 then it is 10 then again 6 13 8 11 12 7 16 now after you do this you have to calculate this ei now make sure that this capital n this n is 100 and this small n that is less than or equal to 20 so it becomes easy for you to calculate so this turns out to be that is 100 upon 10 it is so it comes out to be 10 so for all these values it is 10 so you need not write it again and again this whole column is 10 next you have to calculate this oi minus ei square upon ei this is the formula of chi square test as you can see uh, the previous algorithm so i'll write it 0. 4 0.1 0 1.6 0.9 0.4 0.1 0.4.9.3.6. Yeah. Now after you make this table, you have to sum up all these values. Give me some time. now you have to add up all these values that is the chi zero square is equal to 0.4 plus 0.1 plus 0 plus 1.6 plus 0.9 plus 0.4 plus 0.1 plus 0.4 plus 0.9 plus 3.6 now this value comes out to be 8.4 
Now this is the chi zero square. That is the computed value from all these things after we done the step three. Now after this step four. Now in the question they have given the alpha value is zero point zero five. Now for alpha zero point zero five at small n that is ten. That is n minus one is equal to nine. At nine degrees of freedom, you have to calculate this value. So the value of chi alpha square at zero point zero five is comes out to be sixteen point nine. This is nine. Uh, That is the ten minus one. This value. So this the ratio is sixteen point nine. Now the final step. is simple just you have to compare this now this value that is chi alpha square comma 9 that is the n minus 1 now this value is bigger than this chi zero square so that is 16.9 is greater than 8.4 so this value lies within this range so we can say that the hypothesis h0 is accepted therefore these given numbers are uniform so this is how you solve a problem on chi square test hope you found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and please like thank you for watching this video